friends welcome to our channel i am here with the third part of our accounting series video to discuss about natures or pillars of accounting topics to be covered introduction and characteristics of asset liability equity income and expenses understanding asset liability equity income and expenses there are basically five natures or pillars of accounting assets liabilities shareholder equity income and expenses assets liabilities and shareholder equity accounts make a balance sheet statement income and expenses accounts make an income statement assets an asset is a resource owned or controlled by an individual corporation or government with the expectation that it will generate a positive economic benefit examples of asset include cash and cash equivalents accounts receivable inventory investments ppe that is property plant and equipment vehicles furniture patents and trademarks etc characteristics or properties of an asset there are three key properties of an asset ownership asset represent ownership that can be eventually turned into cash and cash equivalents economic value assets have economic value and can be exchanged or sold resource assets are resource that can be used to generate future economic benefits liabilities liabilities are legal obligations or debt owned to another person or company examples of liabilities are accounts payable interest payable dividends payable income tax and bills payable loans bank account overdrafts and earned revenue etc characteristics of liabilities some of the characteristics of a liability include any type of borrowing from persons or banks for improving a business or personal income that is payable during short or long time a duty or responsibility to others that entails settlement by future transfer or use of assets provision of services or other transactions yielding an economic benefit at a specified or determinable date on occurrence of a specified event or on demand it is a duty or responsibility that obligates the entity to another leaving it little or no discretion to avoid settlement and it is a transaction or event obligating the entity that has already occurred equity in finance and accounting equity is the value attributable to the owners of a business there are generally two types of equity value book value and market value the book value of equity is calculated as the difference between assets and liabilities on the company's balance sheet while the market value of equity is based on the current share price if public or a value that is determined by investors or valuation professionals book value is equal to assets minus liabilities and market value is equal to share price multiplied by shares in reality the value of equity is calculated in a much more detailed way and is a function of the following accounts share capital contributed surplus retained earnings net income or loss dividends characteristics of equity maturity equity shares provide permanent capital to the company 
and cannot be redeemed during the lifetime of the company right to income equity shareholders have a residual claim on the income of a company they have a claim on income left after paying dividend to preference shareholders claim on assets equity shareholders have a residual claim on ownership of company's assets in the event of liquidation of a company the assets are utilized first to meet the claims of creditors and preference shareholders but everything left thereafter belongs to the equity shareholders voting rights equity shareholders are the real owners of the company they have voting rights in the meeting of the company and have a control over the working of the company preemptive right shares offered to existing shareholders are called right shares and their prior right to such is known as preemptive right the preemptive right protects equity shareholders by ensuring that management cannot issue additional shares to persons of their choice in order to strengthen their control over the company limited liability as equity shareholders are the real owners of the company their liability is limited to the value of share they have purchased if a shareholder has already fully paid the share price he cannot be held liable further for any losses of the company even at the time of liquidation income or revenue income or revenue is the value of earnings from sales of goods and services recognized by a company in a period examples of income for a business are sales of goods income from services dividends interest earned etc income can be generated in a number of ways including the following methods income from appreciation funds are used to purchase investment instruments which appreciate in value for example shares in a company are purchased which gradually increases value over time this type of income is unrealized until an investment instrument is sold at which point it is considered to be realized income income from goods and services a business can provide goods and services to its customers in exchange for a billed amount or cash payment for example a manufacturer sells a refrigerator to a customer in exchange of cash income from interest funds are loaned to a borrower who pays interest in exchange for the use of the funds income from rent funds are invested in facilities or equipment which are then rented out for example rent is earned from someone leasing an apartment or from leasing a vehicle income from wages an individual can work for a business entity and is paid for his or her hours worked income from a reduced obligation a decrease in an obligation is also considered income for example a borrower is not able to pay back a a 200000 loan so the lender grants 50000 reduction of the loan balance this 50000 amount is considered income to the borrower expenses an expense in accounting is the money spent or cost incurred by a business in their effort to generate revenues essentially expenses accounts represent the cost of doing business they are the sum of all the activities that hopefully generate a profit an expense is defined in the following ways office supplies use up the cash asset depreciation expense which is a charge to reduce the book value of capital equipment example a machine or a building to reflect its 
its usage over a period a prepaid expense such as prepaid rent is an asset that turns into a cash expense as the rent is used each month it is important to understand the difference between cost and expense since they each have a distinct meaning in accounting cost is the monetary measure cash that has been given up in order to buy an asset an expense is a cost that has expired or being taken up by activities that help generate revenue therefore all expenses are costs but not all costs are expenses types of expenses number 1 cost of goods sold abbreviated as cogs cogs is the cost of acquiring raw materials and turning them into finished products it does not include selling and administrative costs incurred by the whole company not interest expense or losses on extraordinary items for manufacturing firms cogs includes direct labor direct materials and manufacturing overhead for a service company it is called a cost of services rather than cogs for a company that sells both goods and services it is called cost of sales example of cogs include direct material direct costs and production overhead number 2 operating expenses operating expenses are related to selling goods and services and include sales salaries advertising and shop rent general and administrative expenses include expenses incurred while running the core line of the business and include executive salaries r and d that is research and development travel and training and it expenses number 3 financial expenses they are costs incurred from borrowing from lenders or creditors they are expenses outside the company's core business examples include loan origination fees and interest on money borrowed number 4 extraordinary expenses extraordinary expenses are costs incurred for large one time events or transactions outside the firm's regular business activity they include laying off employees selling land or disposal of a significant asset number 5 non operating expenses these are costs that cannot be linked back to operating revenues interest expense is the most common non operating expense interest is the cost of borrowing money loans from banks usually require interest payments but such payments don't generate any operating income hence they are classified as non operating expenses that's all for this video join us in the next video for understanding debit versus credit your feedback will be highly appreciated and will help us to improve the content thanks for watching do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for latest update